Hi, I'm John Vickers. Today I'm here with uh, Gregory Mertens. Today I wanted to uh, discuss with you how the golf swing is really a chain of events. And the golf swing really starts at your feet. And if you can begin to uh, understand that, uh, you're gonna see a lot better results with how your golf club moves and your ball flight. So I just wanna quickly kind of demonstrate the chain of events that occurs with your body that's gonna allow your golf club to get in the positions you would like it to be in as it's traveling its path and as the club face impacts the ball. So Gregory, go ahead and uh, get into your dress position for me, please. So Gregory, when you're ready, you're gonna go ahead and go to the top of your back swing, please. So first question for you, Gregory, is where do you feel your weight on your right foot? On the inside of my right foot. So when your weight's on the inside of your right foot, a chain of events happen throughout the rest of your body. And that chain is, is that there's gonna be a slight flex in the knee, which is going to allow proper hip rotation through your hip socket, which this yellow dot represents your hip, uh, your hip socket, and the hip will move straight back. Next thing that's gonna happen, since your torso, your whole torso rides along on top of your hips, if your hips rotate properly, your torso is gonna to rotate properly, as you saw with Greg. So his torso rotated properly, and by the momentum of the club moving back, club helps to take the shoulders back, and now, if you look, if you look at the alignment stick that's on the ground, you'll see how his back is, uh, is facing the target. And so in this position, Greg, do you feel any tension? No, there's no tension. No tension in his back, no tension. The only tension that he probably feels is on the inside of his right foot because he's nice and grounded. And so from this position, he can make a nice, easy transition to his downswing and get maximum club head velocity and, and be in a nice balanced position as he completes his golf swing. It's the thing with uh, with golf is that yes, you can learn to use the different clubs, but in any club that you use, there's always one common denominator, and that common denominator is your body. So if your body moves correctly throughout your golf swing, well, your club has a much better chance of moving correctly, which means that where you want the ball to go is probably where the ball will go. If you have any questions, please contact me on my Facebook page or you can contact me directly through me. Thank you.